Hey, hey everyone, Molly Dalbeck here, back again. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a great weekend, a great Saturday as you're hopping on. I would love to know if you're if you're watching live, just say live. If you are catching the replay, please type replay below. I love to see who's watching. Um, but I have a question. Do you do you get this objection often of I can't afford it or that's too expensive? Or are you a person who actually finds themselves saying this a lot where you're, you're constantly saying, we can't afford it, that's too expensive. I'm really gonna talk about kind of like what's going on, a couple different scenarios with that and I'll share with you like my perspective on um, you know, the first seven years of business for me, um, this was a mindset that I was in quite often. <laughs> so I'll share with you kind of, you know, my first seven years in business and thank you for hopping on. Hi, Brian. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Roger. Um, great to see you. Just type hey below so I know you're here. Um, in my first seven years of business, I literally didn't turn a profit in that period of time. And I believe it's a number of different things. Number one, I was developing new skill sets that I had never developed. Number two, I was operating out of an old, um, an old program that, you know, that told me you can't afford it. That's too expensive. You know, and I just, I didn't have an abundant mindset at that time. And so it took me literally seven years to develop more of an abundant mindset, which is, you know, a continuous practice for me. And I'm, I've learned so much about, you know, that our thoughts become things and what we think about, we bring about. And what I've learned about, you know, business as well as, you know, in parenting, like this can be translated, you know, in any profession really, because if you're, if you're selling anything for your career, which most are, um, I mean, shoot, if you're selling your kids to get to the table for dinner on time, like we're all in a form of, of selling, right? Because it's just, it's, it's about, you know, encouraging someone else to take an action step in the right direction for them. And so what I realized about, and what I've learned about the, I can't afford it and that's too expensive is that it all comes down to one thing and it's that one word is value. And what that means is the person, so say you're a person that you're in sales, um, say you sell something in weight loss and somebody's got 30 pounds to lose and, and you ask them, you know, what is your goal? I want to lose 30 pounds. Um, instead of saying, okay, here are the products, here's all the things. And this is, you know, this is the thing. And then they ask you the price and then you tell them the price and they're like, oh, that's too expensive. Oftentimes we miss the, the point of actually asking what, what the need is and why it's important to them. So asking a simple question like, you know, why is it important for you to lose 30 pounds? Do you have something important coming up that you need to get ready for? Do you, you know, do you have some health issues that you want to get in alignment? Like what's going on? Tell me a little bit more. And that simple act of really caring about that individual and really understanding what it is that they you know, that they want because money flows where the heart goes, right? And so if, if our heart is telling us, you know, I would feel really confident walking into my, you know, 20 year reunion, 30 pounds less in this gorgeous, you know, red dress. Um, and that would make me feel so confident and so empowered. When a person, when you allow a person to go into that space and you ask a simple question, doesn't take long at all and allow them to go there, they're going to value the potential of them losing that 30 pounds much more where money is never the issue. Your product's not too expensive. Your opportunity is not too expensive. Your whatever it is that you're selling, it's not too expensive because people will pay. We pay for value. And oftentimes when you're getting that objection, if you're in sales and you're constantly getting the objection of too expensive, can't afford it, those types of things, more times out of not, it has to do with the value not clearly being communicated to that individual or 
asking the right question of why is it actually even important to them? Because if it's not important for them to lose that 30 pounds and they're like, well, you know what, actually I'm good because I, I just realized I'm, I'm fine. I don't need to do that. Then, you know, then that, then it's up to them, right? But more times out of not, like when you're, when you're asking the right questions, they're going to have the opportunity to get in touch with why is it important for me to do this? And so I know like with our product, you know, it delivers potentially up to 40 different benefits. And I'll ask people, you know, what on this benefit sheet is more most appealing to you? Why did you reach out? Why did this pique your interest? What are you, what are you hoping for this product to do for you? And then once they answer their own questions, they realize, okay, it's actually a lot more important for me to get good sleep at night. It's actually a lot more important than I was even thinking to be able to, you know, lose the weight and have more energy and focus and like really feel empowered and confident throughout my day. And once you allow them to connect with that, money is never the issue. And so that was something that I learned in that in that beginning time frame of of building up my own skill sets because what I realized is I I was getting in my own way due to my own mindset and this is kind of another piece of it that if you're getting that objection a lot a lot of times that could have a lot to do with your own belief system about the product or the opportunity or um or even just that past programming that continues continues to come up, you know, whether your parents said we can't afford it or whatever that might be. And so I know now, um, since having learned that, it's a it's a constant practice. But, you know, when my kids want something or whatever, like I don't I make a conscious effort not to say we can't afford it or we, you know, that's too expensive. Instead, I'll say something like, you know what? buddy, that's just not a good, uh, a, a good purchase option for us right now. We're not going to, we're not going to do that because it's not a value. It's not a need. It's not something that is important to us right now. And that simple shift in, you know, using different verbiage and different words to kind of take that out of your vocabulary of, I can't afford it. Because literally what we're doing when we say that is we're bringing on it's like this self-fulfilling prophecy where we're we're constantly saying, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. Well, you know, then you're going to get to a place where you can't, for, you can't afford anything. And you're constantly always saying, I'm, I'm trying to get the money together. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Versus, you know what, I can afford the things that are important to me. That is a much more empowering statement and something that you can start speaking over your life instead of these, you know, these statements that are running in the old programming that you're agreeing to on a daily basis. And this is, if you are in sales, this is definitely going on probably in most people's mindsets as they're, uh, you know, looking to, you know, purchase your product. So, uh, drop me a heart below if this is helping for those of you who are in sales because um, this is a really big turnaround for me because what I realized is I was making it about me in the beginning when I wasn't making any sales and I was getting the price objection a lot and here's the thing once you get over this hurdle like I I rarely ever get the price objection now because I have solidified my belief system and what it is that I share I know the potential of it actually transforming someone's life both in the opportunity as well as the product side so that belief system is like really really high and you know I would encourage you like if your belief system is not high in what it is that you're doing like read more testimonials and you know get in get in to you know more doctor calls or whatever I'm in health and wellness so that's what I'm kind of you know alluding to so Courtney says this is me now at the moment okay cool so is this helping Courtney let me know below um, a couple other points on this that I wanted to share. So we talked about that former programming, um, watching your words, like test that affirmation. Like I can afford all the things that are important to me. And if you start speaking that over your life, like, or I afford, or I am, I am making the, I'm, I am making enough money to afford the things that I desire. Okay. That would be a really powerful statement. So find a need 
You know, ask what's important to them. Stop making it about you because it's not about you. You are not your customer. You are not, you're not, your issues are not their issues. And oftentimes, you know, if somebody new comes into like a sales arena, they will think if they think that it's expensive, they will project that on and they'll block themselves from helping people with the product or service. Courtney says it's helping. Amazing. I'm so glad. Um, so again, you can build that belief system by looking at more testimonials, getting on the calls, um, having your own personal, um, if you're in a health and wellness company right now or whatever your product or service is, like if you're not being, uh, the best advocate for that product that you could be, meaning you're actually using the product as it says and as it states and, and going through the process of, of that piece of it, like start there because that's going to be, that's going to be an amazing way that you can build up those muscles of your own personal belief because if you don't personally believe <laughs> Ray's got the flex thanks Ray for hopping on uh, if you don't have your own personal strong belief about what it is that you're sharing with the world and you do, if you don't truly believe that it could potentially change somebody's life um, then you've got to get yourself to that belief system because that's gonna help you navigate these these different objections that come up because I will tell you and I will promise you whatever it is that you're selling it is not too expensive people pay for what they value and if a person values feeling better and looking better and losing the weight and sleeping and all the things that your product might be attached to then it doesn't matter how much it costs because the value of it has increased to the point that it's made sense for them Okay, so I'm glad this is helping. Um, another thing that I will do is if somebody says, you know what, that sounds, you know, in, in the event that I do get the price objection, which I talk to enough people and I do get a small percentage of people that will bring up a cost of my product. And I will ask a question, like they say, oh, this is, this is too expensive. Or let's just say they say, well, this, this is really expensive. I'll say, well, what do you mean by that? And I qualify the objection because too expensive is just so relative. Like some people think a million dollars is, you know, expensive and some people think $10 is expensive. So we can't assume that expensive means the same to every person. So I asked them that question, like, what do you mean by that? And they'll say, well, you know, and they'll actually get to the root of the reason why they're saying they can't afford it. And, and that really brings up the, the ability then to go ahead and, and walk them through that and help them troubleshoot ways to, you know, get the money together so that they can start feeling better, so that they can get this, the solutions to their problems. Because again, it's not about me, it's about me providing that solution or you providing that solution to their problems, okay? So um, I'm glad this helped and um, yeah, if you're curious and you wanna know like how do I handle money objections, I'm happy to, you know, private message me and I'm happy to send you over my, I'm not a big script person because I'm, I'm very, um, I like to be very honoring of a person's journey as to what it is that they're incorporating into their life. But I do have scripts that I use as a guide to help people navigate through the price objection. Because if you're in any kind of sales thing, whether you're, you know, maybe you work in a salon and you, you get a commission on selling more shampoo or you work, you know, in retail and you get a commission, maybe you're selling jewelry, wherever you're at, like these principles, it doesn't matter what it is that you're selling, the same principles translate into that that field so it all comes down to increasing the value and asking the right questions to to draw up their personal value of why it's important to you to them because money flows where the heart goes and if you can get to the heart of why something's really important to somebody then no amount of money can stop them from getting the solution that they need to to feel better in their life to get the thing that you have to provide that solution, okay? So again, if you wanna reach out, I'm happy to share my script with you, what's worked for me. 
and um, this this will help you get that price objection less and if you are a person where you're finding yourself where you're constantly saying we can't afford this we can't afford this we can't afford this um, then it's it's about shifting over your words and making sure that you're b being more conscious like I would just challenge you to start listening to how often you might be saying that and catch yourself and say, you know what, I'm not gonna say that anymore. I'm gonna, instead, I'm gonna say, I can afford all of the things that I value in life, okay? So I hope this helped, and I appreciate you guys hopping on, and I think it's day 12 of this video challenge, and it's been really fun. I'm gonna share um, really soon just kind of my, my personal takeaways of this challenge, and it's been really an amazing ride. So thank you guys so much for hopping on. Have a great rest of your Saturday, and we'll see you soon.